how to play Black Widow Clairvoyant in six minutes or less. Black Widow Clairvoyant is a unique mystic that has all the characteristics of the mystic class with some useful immunities and an interesting playstyle and cycle. She deals energy damage over physical, making her great against champs and nodes with a lot of physical resistance. She has above average attack and physical resistance, but most of her other stats fall into the average range. She has a self synergy with herself, giving her 10% attack when fighting hashtag villain opponents. Clairvoyant uses curses and clairvoyant charges to dominate so many aspects of this game. She has three curses, the curse of blood, curse of plague, and curse of hellfire. Each curse gives her a unique immunity and different abilities and debuffs when using her attacks, heavies, and specials. The curse of blood gives her bleed immunity, the curse of plague gives her poison immunity, and the curse of hellfire will grant her incinerate immunity. Using the fourth light attack in a combo, we'll switch between the curses in this exact order. So basically use medium, light, 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 light combos until you get the curse you want for the fight that you are in. Claire will start every fight with the curse of blood. While this curse is active, she will place a weak bleed on the opponent for eight seconds. And when finishing the combo with a medium, using a heavy attack or a special one will place three stacks of bleed for eight seconds. The bleeds can stack. Using the special two with the Curse of Blood active will heal Claire for 35% of the damage dealt and will prevent your opponent from gaining all buffs for 10 seconds. This only has a 50% chance though on science champs due to the class disadvantage. Use this curse when you need help. The next curse in her rotation is the Curse of Plague. While it is active, you place a weak poison on the opponent when ending your combo with a medium for eight seconds or three stacks with a heavy or special one. These poisons can stack and will reduce healing by 30%. Using the special two with the Curse of Plague will place the same 10 second buff immunity and also steal 5% of the opponent's current power. Use this curse for power control and healing reduction. The final curse is the Curse of Hellfire. While you activate, you will place a weak incinerate debuff on the opponent by using the last medium of a combo. Using the special one or heavy attack will place three incinerates and of course these are stackable. While the opponent is incinerated, they will lose perfect block and their block proficiency will be reduced by 50%. Using the special two with the Curse of Hellfire active will deal a burst of energy damage for each hit of the special. You will also get the 10 second buff immunity. This curse is great for extra damage and passing some champions that are immune to bleed and poison, but to play her proficiently, you do not want to bypass immunities of your opponents because their immunities play into Claire's power gain via her clairvoyance charges. Add one of these champs to the team and you will inflict an eight second slow debuff on your opponent, except for science, whenever you inflict an incinerate to an immune champion. With each curse, you place weak debuffs on the opponent and gain an immunity to said debuff. The bleed, poison, and incinerate debuffs that you place are not really powerful for damage. She starts the fight with three charges and gains one charge every time you receive a debuff you are immune to or inflict a debuff that your opponent is immune to up to 20 charges. Every time you gain a charge, you also gain 4% of your max power. You will also gain a charge for every buff you remove with a special two, and you will gain a charge if your opponent has the buff immunity debuff on them and they attempt to trigger a buff. While you have charges, your medium and light hits will nullify buffs at the expense of one charge. Using the special three will consume all charges and you will gain an attack rating and a death touch lasting 1.2 seconds per charge consumed. Her signature ability allows her to bypass being knocked out while the death touch is up. In lieu of being KO'd, Claire will regenerate between 6 and 25% of her health depending upon signature level. The potency of all these curse effects will be increased by 100% while death touch is up. Add OG Black Widow to the team and all attacks will reduce opponent's ability to trigger abilities by 50% while the death touch is active. Gaining charges is the best way to gain power and the best way to gain charges is to fight immune champs. When fighting poison immune champions, use a medium light, 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 light combo and switch to the curse of plague and gain charges and power with the medium, heavy, and special ones. This is a particularly fun curse against poison immune because using heavy attacks and the special twos, you can really control the power gain of your opponent. And of course, when fighting incinerate immune champions, having the curse of hellfire active is the best for gaining power. Now, since I run suicides for the majority of fights, I will start the fight bleed immune and gain a charge from the curse of blood. And then I do the medium light, light, light combo to get to the curse of plague and remove the poison, gain another charge, then two more medium light, light, light combos to get back to the curse of blood right before using my special two to heal back any damage. For most fights, then I will start in the curse of blood for healing. 
Of course, if I need power control or to reduce healing, then I will stay in the Curse of Plague, and if I need to incinerate my opponent or reduce their defensive stat, the Curse of Hellfire will stay up. Basically, there is no wrong way to play Claire because each fight is situational and may require you to be in a different curse or you may need to cycle between a few curses to get the job done. Using her special two is the best utility in most situations. Add Doctor Strange to the team and the final hit of the special two has a 50% chance to inflict stun for two seconds and with Vision Orcus, specials cost 15% less power. The masteries I feel that work best for her are suicides, of course, because of her immunities and healing, recovery for healing, despair for more healing reduction, and mystic dispersion can be great, but it could be too overpowering, causing her to get to a special three too fast. But that is it. That is how to play Black Widow Clairvoyant in six minutes or less. Let me know in the comments below, how do you play Black Widow Clairvoyant? Was this video useful? Let me know in the comments below and let's discuss. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys liked what you saw and you want to see more, please remember to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and hit me up in the Discord chat. Thanks, guys. Bye.